Uh, I know my hands. I, I, I know. <laughs> like, so many, so many. I know. I know. So many. He's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> this is how the other side looks. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Gem. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In today's video, I'm going to be palm rolling my brother's dreads in the bathroom right now, and I'm going to wash out. So after the wash, we go in with a blow dryer, this spray from Mango and Lime. I also have rubber bands just in, well, these are the rubber bands that I actually need. And then I have these clips, which is just a variety of different size clips. Now, how I do these is simply like that. I take one dread and then I twist them with my palms and make sure that everything is tight and then I clip it with one of the smallest kind of clips that we have and I just edge it out just like that. So after I get a good batch of dreads nicely clipped and tucked away, I start to remove the clip and then I start to twist them together. Like you're doing twisties, but dread twisties, you know, if you could do twisties, you could do this style. It's pretty simple. If you're enjoying my content so far, please give this video a thumbs up, please and thank you. So here's what we're looking like so far. I've got four good looking ones that look gorgeous to be honest and all together it's two four six eight dreads mixed in together now sometimes lint no getting lint and dreads is inevitable like it's going to happen so if you know a way to like avoid such a thing please comment down below This particular hairstyle is really decent, it's really simple, it's easy, and it keeps the dreads in. So here I am going in with a blow dryer to dry up the mango and lime. Usually, we use aloe vera gel, which we make at home, or we go in with beeswax and on this particular day we were out of both so that's why I'm just using mango and lime and blow drying it down it's you know the the best thing for the moment because we really can't go to our local Sally's to pick up anything at the moment so that's why I improvised
I understand that combs are not meant to be used on dreads, but this particular part just it was an emergency to me so i just had to i just had to sorry if that bothers you please forgive me if you're a real one but anyways i am continuing twisting Oh yeah, and a thing that I found that is really important is to twist all the way down to the end of the dread. Don't just twist the roots. Like, if you can, it's best to twist all the way down. Two hours later. Drenched and dripped and glistening. You see how good this is looking? Okay, let me give you a microwave. You microwave it. You microwave it. Okay, you see that? That work is solid. That I know. Mm. I know that they have a heart and a soul and a mind. I've learned from them and they do therapy for me. Let's see your foot, sexy lawyer. But they have rights, people. They keep saying, I can't have these tigers. What you will need to do the taper are these interchangeable thingies, a wave brush, a single blade, and the star of the show, Conair. I don't know what this is called, a buzz cutter. This is literally the first time I've ever done this before, but after this experience, I definitely want to continue to learn. So I just, you know, comb out the hair, make sure it's nice and even all around. And then I go in with the Conair Buzz Cutter and I start off small and work my way up because I'm going for the whole layered look. So here I go. So because of the dreads, this is a method that I found to be really helpful so that I don't cut any dreads. I just use this little comb and edge it out and just cut the hair that's in the comb. It's lit! Now I'm just gonna keep doing the same method that I did in the beginning so that I don't touch any dreads, making sure that everything is equal, everything is faded properly. Because my brother says that that's the whole point of a taper is to have layers that are faded evenly. I'm still learning.
gel. And we're gonna create this new line because the old line is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Going in with the single blade, this is me sharpening up the line, the lineup, and all of the edges. We'll, we'll, we'll see you next time. <laughs>